Tyler E and welcome back to my channel so I'm so happy to have you guys back with me I really hope you enjoyed my first video that I created um, that was like my journey through pregnancy kind of what I did um, obviously you can see that I built a lot of things um, I try my best to document everything through my pregnancy because it goes by so fast when you're pregnant it seems like the longest time but now that it's over it seems like it went by so fast so i'm very happy that i was able to document that so if this is your first time watching make sure you click the subscribe button below um and all of you who have already subscribed thank you so much so today we are going to be answering some questions about me um and kind of about my baby too so um these are questions that i thought of questions that people thought it would be good that i answered so you guys can um, get to know me just a little bit more so first thing please bear with me because I say um a lot and it's funny because I'm an English teacher so people are like do you realize like and I'm like yes I say um a lot and I also say like a lot like see I just did it I, so just bear with me I'm, I'm working on it okay it, it's a process it's a process okay my first question was how did I find out I was pregnant? So me finding out that I was pregnant is actually a very fun, I think it's funny now, like thinking back on it, when I was in the moment, it wasn't that funny. Um, but I thought I had the flu. So for like three weeks, I was like throwing up. I like couldn't eat. I was just like not feeling it. And I thought I had the flu and I do not like going to the doctor. So like I was putting it off as much as I can. And so one day it got very bad and I got very sick and had to go to the emergency room. So I'm at the emergency room. My mom lives out of town. So like I call, you know, call my grandmother. They all show up. So my grandmother's in there with me. And so the lady, they hook, you know, they hook you up. They do all this stuff. And so the lady's like, is there any way that you could be pregnant? And I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> like, there's absolutely no way in the world that I'm pregnant because not TMI, but I still had a period. So I was like, there's no way that I'm pregnant. So, you know, it's like 45 minutes has passed. The nurse like comes back in and she's like, so I don't really know if you want me to tell you this in front of your grandmother. Um, so if you want her to step out the room, you could tell her to leave. And I'm just like, so my grandmother's like looking at me like, are you going to tell me to get out the room? And I'm like, I can't tell her to get out the room. Like, this is my grandmother. Like, I don't even know why she would even preface the story like that. So now, like, even if my grandmother does leave, when she comes back in, I have to tell her what the lady said. So I'm like, no, she can stay. So the lady's like, you're six weeks pregnant. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> because what? No, I'm not. Mm -mm. So she's like, nope. I'm pretty sure you're pregnant and I literally instantly start bawling my eyes out like I mean I am sobbing I'm like grandma I can't take care of no baby like I'm just literally like guys I'm being so honest with you and super transparent but like I'm bawling my eyes out because I'm like no grandma I can't do this I can't do this so long story short I had to do it <laughs> so here I am three months later with a baby and it was so funny because I called my mom like I was dreading calling my mom because if you know my mom then you know like you don't so I'm just like just nervous so I'm like hello I'm like mom you're about to be so mad at me and she's like why what did you do what did you do and I'm like I'm pregnant she's like girl that's it and I was like what what do you mean that's it like I'm literally pregnant that is like a thing like no 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 she's like girl you grown just like going in and I'm like okay well I guess that made it a little easier knowing that like she wasn't like upset because that's like what I was the most nervous about um but yeah I 
So like long story short, moral of the story is I thought I was, I thought I had the flu. So if you think you have the flu, there's a chance you could be pregnant because the symptoms kind of mimic each other. So yeah. Question number two was what do I like the most about teaching? So um, as you know, I am a teacher. If you didn't know, now you do. Um, I am an English teacher to be exact and I teach seventh grade English. And let me tell you something. We're going to, in some of my episodes later, we're going to get into story time because I literally have stories for days. If you don't want to wait, you can go down, you can follow me on Snapchat and you can hear all of my stories all the time about my kids because do I have some stories? Oh my God. But I just love teaching because no day is the same. Like some people who work in offices, you get up, you go to your office, like every day is literally the exact same. With teaching, I cannot come up with an idea of how my day is gonna go because I, I you never know. Like you never know like what the kids are going to say, what the kids are going to do. Like the kids might come in, love you, hugging you, all of that other stuff. Or they might come in cussing you out. You just really never know. You you really just honestly never know. And I think that's the most exciting part about it. I mean, there are some downfalls. Uh, lots of downfalls. I don't get paid nothing at all. Um, and uh, it sucks to get cussed out by kids and not be able to do anything about it because I really just want to be that kid's reason why. Like, and that's mainly why I teach in like urban education too, because I just really want to be that person for a kid to be like, if it wasn't for Miss Rogers, like I wouldn't have graduated. Or if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have done this. Like I want to be that reason. And I love English and I love teaching it because it's just literally so much fun. And I'm like a big kid at heart. So being a teacher allows me to expose my big kidness without being ashamed of being a big kid. It's literally the best. It allows me to be crafty. It allows me to be childish. Like it's really just a combination of the best of both worlds. And also it allows me to boss people around. I love to boss people around. If you know me, if you're a friend of mine, you probably know that I tend to like to boss people around. So when you're a teacher, you can boss little kids around and it's kind of nice. Judge me if you want. Sorry, I'm trying to record this while the baby is sleeping and she just did a little whimper, but okay. So yes, um, and what I love the most about teaching is that no day is the same. So like teaching is a very draining job, both, both physically and emotionally and i'll get into more of that later but no day is the same like literally you just never know what you're gonna get when it comes to these kids like especially because seventh grade and i used to teach high school so now that i teach seventh grade like these seventh graders no ma'am no sir they're bad very bad like i just want you to go to a school one day and get cussed out by a kid and know what it feels like to not be able to cuss them back out disclaimer i do cuss them back out because who are you talking to not me anyways but i even though teaching has its ups and downs like i would not trade my profession for the world anybody who's a teacher out there like shout out to you because not everybody can do your job shout out to elementary school teachers because i could never do the little kids they poop on themselves no thank you um so shout out to y'all every teacher out there because literally not everybody can do it you're amazing and i love you okay so question Question number three is for all of my new moms out there or just any mom that's just like trying like questions that people have for moms. So somebody asked me, what is the one thing that I didn't realize that I needed and now that I like rely on so much now that the baby is here? And what I said was bibs. Seriously? I don't know what I would do without bibs or like burp cloths. Like... I barely got any of those at my baby shower. And let me tell you, thank the Lord above, because I got so much stuff at my baby shower, but people did not buy me bibs or burp cloths. And I use them so much. And you have to clean them so much because if your baby's anything like my baby, she spits up 
all the time. So I'm constantly, constantly, constantly going through bibs and burp cloths. Like literally all the time. Also, sleepers. Seriously, like baby sleepers, like the long sleeve ones. Greatest thing ever created. I, I kid you not. Like my baby has a closet full of clothes and all I want is sleepers because they're the best thing ever. And I don't have enough of them. So now that I know, next go around, bibs and sleepers. I'm buying so many of them because wowzers. People also don't talk about how how much how many wipes you go through. Like you already know, like, oh my God, you use so many diapers, blah, 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 blah. Nobody tells you how many wipes you actually go through. Like, and me, if you're anything like me, when she poops, I'm using like 13 wipes easily because like, no, I do one. If it's too much on it, let me get another one because I, I don't want no poop on my fingers. Y'all can say what y'all want, but like this mom stuff is like new to me. So like the poop on my hands, getting boogers out, all of that, I'm adjusting. It's, it's an adjustment period. Like it, it takes a minute. So, so bear with me, seriously. How did I come up with my baby's name? So my baby's name is Oakland and I spell it O-A-K-L-Y-N-N, -N, not Oakland, duh, Oakland. So I had to put the emphasis on it because everybody's always like, oh, Oakland, duh. like the city in California. And I'm like, no, ha 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 ha, no. So, but I actually came up with the name on Pinterest. So when I was on Pinterest, I seen it and it was spelled like Oakland, the city in California. And I was like, oh, I like that. But like, I don't want to spell it like that. And then I saw something else and it had the Lynn at the end of it, like right after, because I was looking at baby names on Pinterest and I saw the Lynn right after it, And I was like, oh, Oakland, like that's super cute. So that's how I came up with Oakland. And I mean... I was pretty much sold on Oakland before I even knew if it was a boy or a girl because if it was a boy, we knew that it was going to be a junior. So I was like, okay, well, we need to have a name for a girl. And so um, it was the first name that me and her dad could agree on. So like as soon as we both agreed on it, I was like sold. And I did not change my name from there on out. I know some people go back and forth between names, but I didn't because people had already started buying me personalized gifts. So, like, it was kind of too late to go back on the name even <laughs> if I wanted to. So, there's that. So, those are just some of the main questions. And I feel like you can get to know me a little bit better based off of those questions. And just to, like, give you a little bit more background on what this channel is going to be about. Because I feel like I didn't talk about it that much in the last episode. Um, but it's going to be a little bit of everything. Like I said, it's me. So like just my everyday life from story time as a teacher to my first time traveling with an infant, um, first Christmas, just my life um, in a nutshell, really. And I really hope you continue to subscribe. I really hope you continue to watch. Um, like I said, this is first time for me. So I'm super excited and I'm super, super, super stoked to keep this going so again if you have any suggestions over things that you would like me to talk about over things you would like to see comment below make sure you subscribe you can follow me on instagram twitter or snapchat all of it is tyler elise if you look at the bottom you'll see it uh can't wait to see you guys next time bye